excellent little chip as well. McNally and Goff dominating on their own serve so far. Long it is. An outstanding set of tennis from Coco Goff and Katie McNally. stuff from McNally and Goff. That's a great finish to take us into the breakup. Good crisp volley again from the 15-year-old. A tremendous smash. Well, it's not easy, it was moving away from her quickly. <laughs> Sensational scenes here on the Louis Armstrong. The American teenagers do it again. Coco Goff and Katie McNally take out the ninth seeds here in dramatic fashion. Congratulations, Katie and Coco, officially McCoco. Yes, <laughs> McCoco. <laughs> you two are so young and you've played two tournaments. This is your third, starting with the juniors here last year and you're undefeated. You haven't lost a set. Katie, what is it about this combination that works so well? I mean, I think Coco and I just get along so well on and off the court. Um, I think that helps so much. We, we have really good chemistry um, and we support each other. When one person gets down, the other person helps to get them back up, vice versa. So I'm so thankful that I have Coco next to me. <laughs> yeah. Coco, for you, what's it like sharing the court with one of your best friends? Um, it's amazing. Uh, before the match, we're literally goofing off. And uh, like Katie on the multiple match points we had, I think I was returning for like two of them at least. And uh, she just told me to just go for it. And finally I was able to get it in the court because I was really nervous, but that was good advice. Katie, we, we saw you, Katie, a few nights ago play Serena Williams. You took her to three sets. We saw some aggressive tennis. How much does the doubles translate and help the development of your singles game? Yeah, I think it helps so much. I mean, we get to serve, we get to return. And for me, I love serving and volleying, and I like returning and coming in, so I can do that a lot in doubles. And I have Coco at the net who can help me out, so it helps so much. Coco, we saw a very special moment last night yeah. with you and Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> when you got back to the hotel, and you had a chance to reflect what went through your mind. Um, I was still a little bit mad at the match. I was still crying, um, but the amount of messages I got online was um, really special for, for me. Um, I wasn't sure what the feedback I would have gotten because a lot of times when players lose, you get like bad messages, but this was like one of the few times it was like 100% positive, so I, that, it made me feel better. What did you think, Katie, of the display of sportsmanship and that special night we had last night yeah like I said earlier in an interview I think Naomi's such a great player but she's even a better person and for me I think that's more important um, she's a great role number one and she comforted Coker out there last night and I have so much respect for her lastly for both of you packed house here at Armstrong what does it mean to be playing the US Open and continuing the success here in the doubles um, it means amazing. I didn't think that all these people would be here today. Uh, so thank you guys for coming. And uh, for those who don't know, we're called McCoco. So that's our name. <laughs> Let's go, McCoco. <laughs> Congratulations, Katie and Coco. Pam, McCoco continues their role. They're undefeated. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.